The Georgian lost serve twice and grabbed four breaks from eight opportunities on the other side to seal the deal in straight sets and improve his score in 2019 to 13-11. They traded breaks in games 6 and 7 and stayed neck and neck until 5-5 when Nikolos won eight of the last 10 points to take the opener 7-5. The favourite forged a 5-2 lead in set number 2 although the match was far from over, with Lamassine pulling the break back in game 9 before getting broken at 5-6 just like in the first set to propel Basilashvili into the second round. 2017 Leon champion and the crowd favourite Joe Wilfrid Songa will play in the fifth quarterfinal on the tour this year, battling past the qualifier Steven Diaz 3-6, 7-6, 6-3 in 2 hours and 42 minutes winning just 6 points more than the Canadian and facing 15 break chances, the Frenchman fended off 12 of those, struggling on the second serve but keeping the focus in the crucial moments to move over the top despite only 2 breaks of serve he earned. Diaz kicked off the match in great fashion, serving well and keeping the pressure on Joe Wilfried who couldn't deal with it, suffering breaks in games 5 and 9 and barely making an impact on the return until the closing stages of the second set. Luckily for him, the serve was back where he wanted it, reaching the tiebreak after traded breaks in games 11 and 12 and winning it 7-2 to gain a massive boost ahead of the decider. Thereat the Frenchman lost only 5 points behind the initial shot and captured a break in Game 4, converting the 6th match point, wasted a previous 5 on the return at 5-3 to, to book the place in the last 8. Benoit Pair needed just 67 minutes to dismiss Pablo Cuevas 6-4, 6-3, getting broken 3 times but delivering rock-solid display on the return for 6 breaks from 10 opportunities that pushed him into the quarters. Two seeds had asked for a wild card before the start of the event and one of them was unable to play the second round match, with Richard Gasquet withdrawing from the clash against Taylor Fritz, deciding to take some rest and see if he can get ready for Roland Garros. The other one, Denis Shapovalov, overpowered Ugo Humber 2-6, 7-6, 6-2 in 2 hours and 16 minutes after more controversies with ball marks on clay and wrong calls. Both players converted 5 out of 10 break points and the Canadian had to work hard after a slow opening set, finding the way to raise his level in set number 2 and never looking back in the decider for the 15th win of the season and only the second on clay this spring. Let's block ads. Why?